I'm in the land of one of the most famous and influential women of our time, Karin Blixen. And this right here used to be her home here in Kenya. An interesting part about her story is that Karin actually left home coming here to Kenya to start a business in cattle keeping. But on her arrival to Kenya, she met this businessman who was called Lord Delamere and he wanted to lure Karen into a different business because he thought like Karen is going to compete with him because he was also keeping cutters for business and he advised her he said you know you don't really have to try to do cutter business there is an even much more lucrative business in coffee so Karen acted hastily and ventured into coffee business and which brought all her troubles in her life because that business really sacked all her wealth and in the end she left Kenya bankrupt. This house here went through a circle of being bought and sold. Karen bought it from a Swedish engineer and later on it was sold and finally it was sold to the British government and which later on gave it to the government of Kenya as an independence gift. When you come here, you would realize the place is really quiet. The birds are flying, you can hear the sounds of birds all around this place. And there is a road nearby, but during Karen's time, the road used not to be there, so it used to be extremely quiet. And she actually loved birds, you know. When you go into the museum, you would find some portraits of birds. This is a very interesting place. When you come to Kenya, be sure to visit the Karen Blixen Museum.